How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. I want to talk to you about a SPAC today that has started to move up recently that I plan on buying this week. That is probably the highest reward, maybe the highest highest risk stock that I've ever invested in. So I thought other companies were really high risk like SPCE, and I think this one might even be a higher risk, but I'll explain it. I think it could be a potential, I don't even want to say this, but 100x or even higher based on what they're saying 10 years down the line. Now, this is a SPAC that is a space SPAC, also a 5G SPAC. Uh, it will eventually be a blue chip company, but right now with what they're trying to do, it's very high growth. So I'll explain all that to you. I'll explain why I think it's kind of lower risk over the next year. Then after that, it gets to be a little bit higher risk. Again, I'm going to invest in it probably tomorrow. So if you guys like this, please leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you guys want to hit subscribe, I really appreciate that too. Let's see if we can get to 65,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Also, if you want some free stocks through Webull, they're running this just through the end of the month where you get four free stocks if you deposit $100. And if you want to know exactly how much I buy and when of this stock or any other stock, I tell it to my Patreon members. So you can check out the link down below to Patreon. So we're talking about a stock and I'm really excited because a couple people have told me about this in my Patreon group, a lot of people have been telling me to take a look at it, and it's pretty early on. I've been chomping at the bit to get back to talking about this because I've had the last couple of days off. I put out videos, but I have been putting out videos that I pre-recorded. This company is called NPA. It's merging with another company called AST Space Mobile. So if we just look over the last few days, you can see that on December 15, it was $10.30. Then they announced that they're going to merge with Space Mobile. It started to move up. And since then, it's pretty much just been up every single day. And it's been up a solid 5 to 6% every single day. Now, I want to walk you through this. I won't. I won't take too long walking you through this. I'll probably do another video talking about it and what I like about the company. But again, I plan on holding the stock or buying it here soon. So this is a cell phone provider, coverage provider, that's going to be really interesting. So they're designed to eliminate coverage gaps and enable billions of people globally to stay connected through their mobile phones. Now, this is a $1 trillion market. 5 billion mobile phones are moving in and out of coverage. And 51% of the global population is without mobile broadband. So this is a company that will essentially, I at least from how I understand it, and of course, always do your own research, they're going to offer coverage when people fall out of coverage. They also will have their own cell phones and their own, I believe their own uh, provider, or they will be their own provider too, but they're gonna work with pre-existing companies like AT&T and Verizon, actually work and send them a message when people fall out of coverage and say, would you like to connect to our coverage? And they are going to have, again, this is like space-based, so they're gonna have satellites going around and be able to provide provide coverage for just about everyone. Now, I'll explain why I think this is high risk, high reward in a minute, but you can see that it's it's going to be a publicly listed company. It's going under the NPA SPAC merger. The pre-existing AST Space Mobile shareholders will be subject to a 12-month lockup, which I think is really important. So I've been... I've been selling some of the SPACs before they go through with their merger because they pump up a lot. A lot of them don't have a lot of revenue or a lot of net income. So I've been kind of churning them because, again, if you know, SPACs can't really fall below $10 uh, before the merger. So I've been waiting for them to go up and then I've been selling some of them. But this one is interesting because the shareholders are subject to a 12-month lockup. So really, they want to keep the stock going up. They don't want it to fall if it goes up to 20 and then back to 10. That kind of, it's not good for them. So they want to keep it going up. The Space Mobile employee stock options will be subject to a two-year lockup. Now, after this merger, they are going to have zero debt on their balance sheet. It will be about $1.3 billion of equity issued to existing AST Space Mobile shareholders, anticipated $1.4 million or 1.4 billion dollar pro forma enterprise value this is a 1.4x on 2024 expected ebitda of about 1 billion dollars what they're trying to do is give coverage everywhere eliminate it eliminates cellular uh, coverage gaps and drop calls now you might be saying that's just stupid if they were actually able to do that then some other company like verizon or at&t would have come up with this already 
I understand what you're saying here, right? I understand if you're thinking that, but they have some really big backers, some really big investors that I want to talk about here in a second, but you can kind of see here, Space Mobile will send you a message. You're out of coverage. Would you like to turn on your Space Mobile day pass? And then they say yes, and then you are connected. So it probably just charges you right there. So they have 750 patent claims already. So, so it provides a high barrier of entry. Here are some of their strategic investors. Vodafone, which is a, the number one mobile network operator outside of China, it says. Now, I've never heard of them, but let's just keep on going down the list. Rakuten, it's a partner of mine. I really like it. Uh, there is a link down there if you want, but essentially it's an e-commerce platform. Uh, you can you can get some discounts here in the US. Uh, they, they're apparently the number one e-commerce platform in Asia outside of China. American Tower, the, they say the number one global cell phone tower company, and then Samsung. So the two names that I know really well in here, Samsung, Rakuten, very big partners. They really have to deliver. That's what's going to be the difficult thing for them. This is something that will be very difficult. Uh, they, they will have to be able to send up these satellites, be able to do something that no one else has done. The reason that I like it is, again, it's a spec, so it's got a pretty low um, amount that can fall, right? So right now it's $13.50. It can fall down to about ten dollars so pretty low uh pretty low downside there also i think with the partners that they have they do have a lot of potential upside they have been invested in by some really large companies now i think that makes me feel a lot better just because again these other companies are at least investing in it thinking they'll go up at least short term right i'm assuming more long term but even if they even if they're just investing to see it go up in the short term, the shareholders have to hold on for a year. So in the sh very short term, spec can't fall under $10. After that, they're going to want to keep it high. You can see that if they're actually able to do what they want to do, they're saying in 2027, they'll have $10 billion worth of revenue projected. They're also saying that by 2030, they're saying the total revenue will be about $16 billion. The EBITDA will be about $16 billion. So very high, uh, very high numbers there. If they're able to get to, let's say, a 10 price to sales ratio, they're what, 1.2, 1.5, um, something like that, one, $1.9 billion now. Again, with the increase in cost of the SPAC, because now it's not $10 a share, it has gone up a little bit, but that's still a pretty low number. So let's say they're $2 billion, they go up to a 10 price to sales ratio, brings them up to $160 billion. If they're $2 billion now, that would be an ADX from where they are now. Now, again, I think this is a high risk, high reward play. And of course, do your own research. I never tell you to buy or sell. I don't believe in that. I can't give you financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor. Now, one thing that I think is of note on this and something that I think you have to pay attention to is they're saying there's going to be no revenue for the next two years. And then all of a sudden they're going to make $181 million pretty much out of nowhere. And then it's going to move up to about $1 billion, then 2.6 and keep on doubling essentially um, for the next couple of years after that, which I think is a little bit concerning because usually you don't see a company go from zero income or zero revenue to 181 million and then to a billion the next year. That usually doesn't happen. But again, I do feel better because they have some big investors. They are having that lockup period for the next year to um, two years for their employees. And they are still under the SPAC guidelines where it can't really fall under $10. And again, that's not really a guideline. I shouldn't say that, but it just generally doesn't fall that much because you can claim your $10 per share if it falls down. But with this stock, I think there are a couple catalysts that short term make it make a lot of sense to me. And I think this is one of those ones that once people get a hold of it, once they hear, okay, it's a 5G stock, it has very high margin. It's already partnered with some big investors. The, there's a lockup period. It's only $13.50 a share. I think it's going to pop up to $20, $30 a share. I mean, think about SPCE. I think SPCE is pretty much as risky as this and has a much smaller addressable market. I think that what they're doing is probably more difficult what, than what NPA is planning to do or AST. Uh, but right now, I think that this one provides even greater value and provides a lot less downside or protects on the downside because of what it is right now. 
So I would definitely check this out. I think it's definitely a company that you should put on your radar, even if you're not buying it. I personally am probably going to buy it early in the week this week, but I want to come out with a video even before I buy it because I want it to be on your radar too. So a couple people are really bullish on it in my Patreon. If you guys want to check out that Patreon, you can check it out down below. If you guys want to check out Weeble, you can check it out down below too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to follow the channel a little bit more, please hit subscribe. Please hit the like button. I really appreciate that too. Let me know what you think about NPA and whether you already hold it. And if you want to see a video on actually how much I make as a YouTuber, you can check out this video here. I just made it earlier today. Um, it's not supposed to be braggy or anything like that. It's just supposed to, you know, if one person feels like they got anything out of it or one person's inspired to start a YouTube channel, I think that's going to be great. That's why I made it because I always like watching those videos. So definitely check it out here if you want to. Thanks.